Jesus. This village had always been a peaceful place, with its inhabitants living simple lives. But once every two years, their calmness was shattered by a ceremony that left everyone trembling with fear. Sisi, kwa bide wakati mefika, tuko na kutengenesa hiyo, bisu yetu hiyo ya kutengenesa hiyo. Uwezi kulari na mwana muke. When I was doing this documentary, I almost stopped because of how terrifying it was, more than I had initially anticipated. This video didn't end up how I wanted it, as you'll see at the end. During the day, he was taken to the angles to collect the, the known as lihoni. Then he has brought it to lihoni back. After he has brought lihoni, we shall give him something called disombo. And then uh, through the night, we shall sing and dance. People will take beer and then dance and do everything. Then tomorrow morning, we take him to the river, and then he will be circumcised. The specialist in circumcision sharpens his knife as he prepares to circumcise the young boys. This event marks the transition of the young boys into men and the end of their childhood. In the far mountains of western Kenya lies a unique tribe known as Bukuzu, and it has a very special way of recognizing a man. That is a cow that uh, comes from the, the, the mother's side because when I married the mother, I also gave out some dowry. So when I'm circumcising the son, they should reward back. So the animal has been given a reward with the father. Normally, a man is recognized because of his developed body parts, including his voice and beards. But to the Bukusu and Luya tribes, a man doesn't just grow naturally, but is made to be one through the traditional ritual of circumcision. Even if a man is strong enough and has enormous wealth, he will never be considered as a real man in his tribe if he has not gone to this river to be circumcised. This ritual is known as Kumuzalaba, and it has been practiced by Bukuzu people for thousands of years. This ritual symbolizes a transition from childhood to manhood and it is normally practiced upon young adult men between the ages of 12 to 16 years old. <laughs> Traditionally, every man in this tribe has to undergo this ritual before any meaningful responsibilities would be allocated to him. For instance, men should be circumcised before they marry or get deployed to battle. As such, every man who wants to maintain his social value in this tribe must accept to undergo this painful process before emerging as a complete man. This ritual happens once every two years, and today we have traveled more than 400 kilometers to go to the town of Bungoma, which is close to the border with Uganda, and it is the home of this tribe. We were welcomed by Amos Muruni, one of the most popular men in this tribe and whose child will be circumcised in the upcoming event. Okay, um, I'm Osmeruni. I'm a Bukusu. My child will be circumcised in this year's ceremony. It is an important ritual to our tribe, and I'm proud that my son will be going through this ritual. I have gone through the same process a long time ago, and today his turn has arrived. The ritual helps our tribe to stay connected and to have the men who can protect and provide for our tribe. It is also a very unique ritual that differentiates us from other tribes. We want to maintain it in the future because of its meaning to us. This child in the middle of the circle is his, and he is prepared to get circumcised, which will change its status from a child to a man. He is visibly afraid as he walks among these young men who are singing for him. He has been painted with whitened material to mark his upcoming big day. The paints must start from his head, heading down to his chest and his legs. 
Around his chest and back, the young man is decorated with numerous necklaces, all of which are used to mark a young child who is about to turn into a man. The paintings and necklaces also serve to psychologically prepare the young adult for the upcoming event, which is obviously very painful to their body. This cow you see here was provided by Amos's father-in-law in celebration of this event. The night before the real ceremony, men will gather in the compound of Mr. Amos in the preparation of the upcoming event. They will use this time to share traditional drinks, and this is the time they will recount their history, all while discussing the future of their tribe. It's an opportunity to talk about their cultures, their relationships with neighboring tribes, and other important matters that concern their tribe. Among the men gathering here, some old men will take time to speak about the early days of their tribes, its wars, and other important history of the tribe. Others will talk about the future of the tribe, like this man in the glass who pleaded with his colleagues to send their children to school, both boys and girls, given how much time has changed since their youth days. After sharing drinks, the guests will get their time to sing and dance as the night wears on. We left this family to pay another visit to the neighboring family, whose son was also undergoing intense preparation for the morning circumcision. It's around uh, 11 o'clock at night. We are going to the different family uh, to see their traditional. Remember, this is uh, it's a Bukusu traditional <clears throat> from Western Kenya. It's uh, from Western Kenya near the the border of Uganda and Kenya. So we are going to different family to, to witness what is different there. And remember, tomorrow we'll be going with them. Uh, they will go to, to the river uh, to take the, those boys there to prepare them for circumcision. So circumcision will happen at daytime. It will be just open. Anyone can watch. So we are heading there uh, in the different uh, family to see what will happen. Upon reaching here, we found the young man in good spirits as he was dancing with other guests. We also met this old man here who is a specialist in circumcision. He has been doing it for decades and he has circumcised many of the men here. He is preparing his equipment by sharpening his knife, which he will use in the morning. His apprentice must be around. Among them are young people who are learning from his skills, so that sometime in the future they can replace him. In the meantime, he will not have an opportunity to engage with his wife tonight in order to save his concentration and strength for the morning big occasion. I am not allowed to engage with my wife tonight. I have to prepare myself to make sure that tomorrow morning I am in good spirits and I can perform my responsibilities with full energy and concentration. The following morning, we head down the river with the young boys who are going to be circumcised. All the way through the town and roads, Rakusu people are rejuvenated as they sing and dance with joy. This event means everything to them. It is not only an occasion to catch up and enjoy themselves, it is also a statement that their tribe is still strong and will prevail even in the future. As we approach the sacred place, young men who will be circumcised can be seen with no clothes on their body at all. When we arrived on the river, the young men headed down to this river and washed their body and their private parts in particular. Those who will be circumcised will be thatched with mud as the last preparation before their body will have to endure immense pain, resulting from the process of this traditional circumcision.
When everything is in the right place, they head up to this flat ground, where the real event will take place. This ceremony is public and both men and women are allowed to attend. Right before the event starts, there is a collective calmness in the audience as the protocols demand order from the public. A flash of fear can be sensed throughout the public, given that this process can be fatal, though it rarely happens. Then the old man will show up and perform the circumcision, which is testified by the blood on the floor. The young men will be covered before guided to this small house, where they will start the process of recovering. And as you have seen uh, in this family, we had uh, two boys uh, who have been circumcised and uh, one of them refused to sit down because uh, it's traditional that when a child refuses to sit down, they give him a gift and uh, they give him a, a bull. For those uh, who will maybe wondering why the children went round in the house before they enter and they end up with the bark is because it's also part of traditional and part of prayers that the children will heal soon or heal quickly. So for, uh, yeah, for, for, for those uh, who also maybe would like to know or to me to explain uh, the, the, the reason why children went round the house is because it's part of uh, uh, the healing process that uh, happen. It's uh, traditional. As the ceremony concludes, the guests will head home again, and they will wait for two years for the same ceremony to take place again. The Bukusu tribe believes that a man who has not undergone this ritual will never be considered a complete man, even if he is strong and wealthy. The ceremony is painful, but it helps to maintain their unique culture and differentiate them from other tribes. It is an important ritual that connects them to their history and gives them hope for the future. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Thank you.